How fast could an animal get to the moon? It's an interesting question, and one I pose today. For the sake of simplicity, we're going to assume that the distance between us and the moon is filled with the medium that the creature lives in. So, a human would be running, a bird would fly, and a turtle would snort a straw by accident and die. We'll also assume that the creature has infinite stamina and doesn't need to eat. Just an average specimen of the species moving at its top speed straight towards the moon. I'll go from the longest time to the shortest for a range of species. The distance to the moon is 238,855 miles on average. First off, coral, yes, they are an animal, and literally never, they can't move. Next, the snail. As you can imagine, they're slow. Like, really, really slow. Snails move at 0.013 miles per hour. Doing some simple division, we can determine that a snail would take approximately 18.375 million hours to get to the moon. That translates to about 2100 years. Given that the average snail only lives 2-3 to three years, I suspect he probably won't make it. Focusing on something mildly faster, we have the wild deer. They can move at speeds of 40 miles per hour, though they don't seem to be able to move at all in the presence of a car headlight. Doing the division, we get 5,970 hours. At this speed, it would take only 248 days to travel to the moon, at least assuming they don't see any bright lights along the way. But I haven't even given the fish a chance to shine. Unfortunately, data on fish speeds is rather unreliable, but fish are generally believed to move in the range of 40 to 60 miles per hour. However, one fish found a way to cheat the system and leaps out of the water to fly incredible speeds. The sailfish is the 12th fastest species on the planet, being able to glide at 65 miles per hour and doing it in style the whole damn way. This puts the sailfish's time at 3,675 hours or 153 days. Now that we've completed the fish category, we'll finish the land category. The cheetah is the fastest land animal, moving at 70 miles per hour. Realistically, the cheetah would never be able to sustain this speed to the moon and would only run that fast for a minute or two. But since we've eliminated stamina from the factors, the cheetah is strong in the running. Yeah, you, you get it? You see what I did there? Yeah. Oh, okay, moving on. So the cheetah's estimated time to arrive to the moon is 142 days, only marginally faster than the sailfish. Next, at the fifth fastest animal in the world, we have the Mexican free-tailed bat. These things put Dracula to shame, flying at speeds of up to 100 miles per hour. How terrifying. So, at its top speed, the last non-bird participant in the contest would reach the moon in 100 days. Pretty good for a bat. And now, the fastest of them all. As one might expect, birds are far and away the fastest creatures on Earth. Some honorable mentions are the golden eagle and the white-tailed needlethroat swift. But the fastest creature on Earth is the peregrine falcon. They move only a mild 50 miles per hour in flight speed, but their dives reach the fastest speed on Earth, with 242 miles per hour being the fastest ever recorded. At this speed, they could reach the moon in just 987 hours or 41 days. Now, obviously, humans are the fastest creatures on Earth, but that's technological advantage, and I'm only including natural speeds. This video took about 7 hours to make, so subscriptions and shares are very much appreciated. Thanks.